Well, to this now, Charlotte nonprofits are struggling this year. They say donations are down dramatically. So what's causing the drop in funding and what does it mean for our communities? WCNC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden takes a look at how nonprofits are asking where's the money. There are several things at play here. COVID funding is just now drying up and it's just a tough year financially, both for individual donors and for corporations. Um, it's, it's a challenging year. I think that all nonprofits are being affected. Uh, this year has been uh, a little more challenging than others, particularly this year. There are a lot of obstacles. Wendy Hickey founded ArtPop to help make sure artists get paid and that the city has access to free art. We've paid local artists over $700,000. If $700,000 wasn't going into artists' pockets, you're going to feel that. The nonprofit and some of their artists say they are already feeling it. We're probably at about 20% this year of what we have been historically. It is a lot. Yeah. Q Blankenship is one of Art Pop's artists. Oh man, Art Pop, it's meant everything. My first paid fashion project was with Art Pop. Before that, she says she never got paid for her work and she worries other Charlotte artists could face that if donations continue to stall. It's very disheartening, honestly. We help people feel connected to the city. Terry White is the president of the Charlotte Museum of History and says they're having the same problem. They've even been forced to cut programming. Part of it is just, you know, the economy. Inflation has impacted everybody. So if you are barely getting your mortgage or your rent paid, barely feeding your family, you don't have the same uh, discretionary income. Number one, companies, corporations that through their foundations give to nonprofits have become laser focused on their funding priorities. Julie Campbell works with Share Charlotte. The organization partners with more than 700 nonprofits across the city, and she says many are struggling this year for that reason and others. Second thing is that we're in an upcoming election, or we're in it, <laughs> the election season. Um, and because of that uncertainty and the turbulence of the markets that everyone is expecting over the next few months, um, donors become more conservative. And that could have lasting impacts across our area. The impact would be that we wouldn't be here anymore. One of the other things Campbell says is happening is that corporations are getting very specific about where they're spending their funding. And if a nonprofit's mission doesn't align with theirs, nonprofits these days can be out of luck. Reporting in Charlotte, Michelle Bowden, WCNC Charlotte. And WCNC Charlotte is always asking where's the money because we want to help you keep your hard earned cash in your pocket. You can follow our reporting through the WCNC Charlotte mobile app.